7 Most Sex Crazed Monarchs in History In most of our history classes, we read about civil wars, historical events, discoveries, and inventions. We never really get to learn about the sex lives and sexual preferences of people who ruled over our forefathers. Caligula, Emperor of Rome, 37-41 AD Caligula was known to seduce the wives of his senators right in front of them. He used to bring home prostitutes and to engage in affairs with pantomime performers, in addition to marrying four women he used to sleep with his sisters as well. Henry I, King of England, 1100-1135 Henry had two wives, Matilda of Scotland, and Adeliza of Louvain. He had two children with Matilda and none with Adeliza. But that's not it. Thanks to his countless affairs with some very fertile women, he had a huge lineage of illegitimate children. He whored around all the time. From his teens until his death, sex was the only game he liked. Marie of Romania, Queen of Romania, 1914-1927 Marie was a strong popular figure in the world, and just like other popular figures of that time, Marie wasn't a fan of monogamy either. Out of many misters, she had Prince Barbu Sturbe was her favorite. Apart from that, Marie is said to have affairs with her newspaperman Waldorf Astor, Lieutenant Zizi Cantacuzine, and Canadian adventurer Joe Boyle. It is obvious that she didn't have just one type. Henry VIII, King of England, 1509-1547 Apart from having six wives, Henry used to have prostitutes over all the time. He even slept with Mary Bullen, his second wife's sister. It is said that he fathered two of her kids too. Historian Kelly Hart believes that Henry had at least twelve mistresses outside his wives. Henry IV and Margaret of France, King and Queen of France, 1589-1599 The Green Gallant was Henry's nickname because of his popularity among the ladies. He was known to leave his armies to shack up with one of his many mistresses, Gonorrhea nearly wiped him out. Margaret herself was no nun. Out of her many affairs, the most famous one was with Joseph Boniface de la Mole, who later was tortured and executed for plotting against the king. Louis XIV, King of France, 1638-1715 Louis's love of women is well known. Throughout his life, he had a number of mistresses, including the Marquise de Montespan and the Duchess of La Valier, both of whom bore him several legitimated children. King Edward VII, King of England, 1901-1910 Edward VII had a lot of nicknames that truly reflected his personality, however he was most commonly known as Edward the Caresser and Dirty Birdie, thanks to his countless mistresses and numerous sexual relationships. Edward had a special sex toy called the sex chair, which he used while having sex. It is said that Edward lost his virginity and he was 19, and since then he had sex with at least four women each week until his death 50 years later. Historians did the math and they believe that he could possibly have slept with between 15,000 and 18,000 women during his lifetime. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.